let me quickly co cover the build itself. So if I would like to go to the build site, I can go from here, which is basically configure the content and configure the admin console. And it is basically the Fury launch pad on SAP BTP. Now the advanced version is not available in the trial account. So I can give you show you the standard version and it is pretty much the same the, apart from few added features in the advanced version, which you can take a look at the productive account. So SAP build work zone. Let's go and take a look at that. So it gives you this nice style wherein you could go ahead and create sites. So, so there is one benefit or the first uh, first benefit is that now when you're using work zone, you can create multiple launch pads or they call it sites. So right now I have a sandbox launch pad, right? I can go ahead and create another site, but it will not allow me because it is a trial account. Uh, otherwise, I could go ahead and create you know, like this button create and create a new launch pad. So if I want a separate launch pad for each function module, I'm sorry, function module is in functional pillar or like for logistics, different one or for, for manufacturing a different launch pad, I can do that on the launch pad. You could have different, different kinds of things. So if you, if I, if I open it, it's like the standard launch pad, right? I don't have any apps configured yet, but I don't have any apps configured, but it, it is like the standard launch pad. Uh, how it's configured basically from the back end a little bit, not more. So uh, you, it gives you a content manager where you could just very easily come here and create an application catalog or group page, roles, and even create spaces. Now, uh, until today or until last year, uh, we used to have the concepts of catalogs and and groups to be able to manage authorization on the SAP Fury Launchpad. If you had a certain group, they should be able to see certain tiles. There is other user group which should not be able to use the certain tiles. You used to handle it with, with the help of catalogs and groups. Now, the similar concepts would come into pages and spaces. I'm not sure. Probably you might have been using it already, but SAP promotes page and pages and spaces, and it will gradually do away with catalogs and groups. We had a question earlier in our discussion that how do you manage the tiles? Uh, this is how you do. You can do cap level authorization control also, but if you would like to hide the entire tile from a certain user group, you can do it on the basis of role. I have a role called everyone here. So let's say if I have a, an application. So I will go ahead and create a tile or an app. And I would say in place, I don't have a system. No system. Uh, and let's say I want to open a URL. Fill certain details that I want to do, probably. If you would like to add certain uh, graphs or numbers on top of the tile, I would keep it static for now. If I would like to add an icon, probably. I would say. I'll click on save. Right. So it's saved. I go to my content manager and I have this tile added now. Now I can go to my everyone role, edit this role and add, add this tile. So now everyone or whosoever has the everyone role would be able to access this tile. So that's how uh, now this tile would be, you know, available to everyone. I could I could go ahead and create 
group called everyone and add the tile that's done right so similarly you could go ahead and create your entire infrastructure if you'd like to create a group more groups you can create more groups user wise you could create catalogs you could create roles spaces and everything that was possible or that is possible in fury launchpad on premise can be done here as well and in the end if you would like to import anything that you have deployed on cloud foundry it will be available under html5 applications so you could go ahead and check whatever is available and then from there you can import so or you could also create new content providers or new content packages if i am not talking about talking about html5 applications if i am working on any other probably abap i can create a new uh, package for all the abap applications and all that can be important imported uh, under my applications with the help of this content explorer so if i would like to create any one of these in application a group or a page with the help of content explorer i click on this and i'll be able to see all the content explorers here and i'll go in there i don't have any applications deployed but if i had it will be available under html5 and thus i can create tiles for any deployed applications which is available on cloud foundry so that's a quick walk through on Fury Launchpad on SAP BDP, or you could call it SAP Work Zone Standard Edition. Any questions on this one? It's a pretty simple service. Jay, uh, how does this compare with the, like a SAP Task Center or SAP? Right, uh, that is also access like one place where you get all the apps. Yeah. I mean, uh, how it differs from that? Uh, I mean, so this, this is a like, completely customized one. Yes, yes, and task center is more standard. There is one factor, but task center is 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 uh, is more for your uh, in is more like a centralized inbox. Like uh, if you would like to have all your workflows coming in from five different systems, it's like I was talking about a scenario wherein the client is moving from ECC to S4, but it's not a sudden movement. If they are moving release by release and their partial business is in ECC, partial business is in S4. So your users will essentially start getting workflows from S4 and ECC both. And if you configure BTP also, they'll start getting workflows from BTP also. So if, if they have to approve, they'll have to go to three different inboxes. In this scenario, if you would like to configure one centralized inbox, where you get all your tasks, you can do that with the help of task center. So that is, kind of specifically for that purpose although it is configurable and if you would like to add a custom extension to it that is also possible but this is entirely configurable sap site manager or sap build work zone is entirely configurable i can have tiles here i can have multiple launch pads i can have you know analytical charts up there on the launch pad itself so and if you have multiple function functions you could have multiple sites for that so th those are the basic uh, differences okay so basically we are creating a home screen for a particular group of roles or user groups right yes 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 okay all right yeah thank you jay um, in in the yeah. long run it seems to be a kind of the ccp build app is a kind of a is it a something replacement for a fury application uh Mm. Because I don't we see, uh, because we see the lots of uh, Fury application tiles which has been created in the background, and then we push it to a kind of new UEFI developer and all this stuff. But mm. here we are getting it in a kind of more automated way. Is it something the drive is going in that direction, or how would this? So I have asked them this question, and I am talking about SAP themselves directly. Mm. So what they say is. They are trying to bridge the gap. So what I ask them is, is what are you doing? So if you, if you, if you look at build apps, it is a little amateur if you look at it today. They are improving it, but it, it still looks like it is not, it has not grown up. Similarly, they are doing 
so they are but they are a, they are working on it similarly if you go to business application studio which is the pro code tool they are improving on that also but they are adding some low code application development techniques like that guided development tool i, sh I showed so they are working on both the places and they are trying to make both of them automated so i asked them that what are you trying to do is the build apps going to grow up and become something like mendix or one of those you know leading no code tools in the gartner magic quadrant or are you going to merge it gradually with business application studio because you are also built keep bringing low code capabilities in business application studio so what they say is they are gradually trying to bridge the gap and unify these tools together someday so i don't know it seems like a vague answer but it could be going in that direction i can't say uh, mm -hmm. but it is also possible that they they would do away with one or the other because one or the other becomes capable of handling all the scenarios yeah if you see the functional modules are going in the direction of this signovia which is coming up right so that mm -hmm. is also coming up with a full automated way so when we yeah. compare that and this with uh, fury application all together it's a kind of mixed signals what sap is trying to provide they are going to for sure automate most of the stuff uh, like if you if you go ahead and start business mapping you end up doing months and months of configuration but like you said with with the automated tools coming in that would be easier whatever you could do previously in one week you'll now be able to do in one one day probably so automation is obviously going to come in for sure application development is also going to get faster whatever i used to give efforts for two weeks earlier i can do that in two days now so things have changed and are changing rapidly <laughs>